So I quickly want to fix this image to become this image. So my technique to do it is basically control L to bring up the levels command, click on the white picker, click on something that is dark that you want to get rid of within the image, hit the erase button, make sure erase to history is not checkered on. And then basically all we've got to do is remove the details. So that's how we're kind of fixing it. Let's look at it a little bit slower for you. So you can kind of start back. So if we hit the F12 key, this will revert it. So the first things first, what is this image? What's the problem? It's obviously we've got a, a white background that the light is shining through rather than being reflected against, which means that the floor, even though it's a vinyl floor, is not having the reflected light. Remember that light from behind appears twice as bright. So when the moon reflects off a puddle, it basically increases its brightness. So in the same case where we're usually shooting with high key in a studio where we're bouncing a light off a wall, then it comes back onto the likes of a white floor, a vinyl floor. Then obviously it kind of uh, cleans it up naturally and there's hardly any work to do. So within this image, um, and we'll get some other images as well, uh, we'll kind of see what the background is. So all we've got to do is basically I would recommend that you duplicate the layer, okay? But we're gonna miss that step for a minute. So control L to just go into the levels command. And this is a lossy adjustment. So we're kind of getting rid of the ability to kind of go backwards theoretically. And then we're gonna hit the actual white picker right hand side and pick somewhere dark on the white that you now want it to be white. And by doing that straight away, we've basically removed all the information that is a muddy gray. At this point, we can just, if we've got the background set to white on the default here, remember pressing D will default back to black on top, white below, and then we can kind of erase it. Now, if you found that um, by doing that technique, you've lost a little bit of detail, let's say on the balloons here, or even on the flesh or whatever it will be, and you want to recover that information, at this stage, even though we haven't got a duplicate layer, we can click onto the Erase to History option and basically bring back any lost detail. So if you're bringing the likes of a image in that's had all the full correction, all the brightness, the lightness, the, color, the contrast, the color balance through from Lightroom or from RAW, at this stage within Photoshop, the only thing that we're going to be doing is fixing the image if we've made that mistake and things. So here we get to a fully fixed image in what I think is, you know, about a 10 second fix, if not less. So uh, let's have a look at some other images and working in exactly the same way. Yes. Yeah? So let's just close these down. We'll just go over to bridge and I've kind of got a variety of images from this shoot. It's basically a charity shoot for kids with, can with cancer um, that I'm lucky enough that I, I did it for them um, for years and years and years and things really. So this is the simple background and I wasn't just photographing families, uh, so the kids by themselves, I was photographing families. I had to make sure that I could get wheelchairs in position and everything else. So the highlight, the eight by seven, whatever that is in it, meters, I've got no idea. Uh, and basically I've got a light into each side because it's the biggest of the background. Then we've got this white vinyl floor and you can even see from here that the white vinyl floor is basically not white. Okay. So by doing that, of course, the issue then is that it really uh, needs to be fixed uh, no matter what. And then we've got a variety of the images. These are some of the performers, in fact, actually doing the stage show. And just before we went live or the kids arrived, they asked if we could actually do some images. So this is the balloon master. He basically does all uh, the balloon play where the others are the actors. So, um, for instance, if they were all color corrected, and in fact, the images in front of us are the basic... Um, images JPEG from camera. Now I shoot a, a raw file and a JPEG on camera. The JPEG from camera, are the ones that basically just get stored on the vault. That's where I've just gone to, to kind of download these images. And I wish I left it open to show you. Anyway, I've downloaded a few and basically I've highlighted a few just so we could actually see them so we could work on them. So if I open these in Photoshop, let's let it do its part. 
So, for instance, this is one of the kid's images. Um, obviously, he's got his face covered, so I can kind of uh, demonstrate without any trouble. So in exactly the same way, yes, Control-L brings up the Levels command. Pick the darkest point of the white that you want to actually go uh, to that clean, uh, the cleanliness, yes? Press OK. At this point, E for Arrays, making sure you've already set the default background color to white. If I don't uncheck the Arrays to History, as I kind of wipe it, it comes back the color, okay? Let's Control Z that. And in this case, all I need to do is uncheck it and then just wipe out the other elements that might be within the scene. And pretty much we've done there. Remember, like I was saying before, if we'd lost detail in the flesh, which we haven't here, as you can see, um, basically we would just then um, hit the arrays to um, history and then it would actually bring it back, okay? And at this point now, all I would do is shut down the image, saying yes to it. I'm not going to because I'm using it for demonstration. And then I just basically I move on. So let me hit that. So. If you want to be a little bit more selective and have a little bit more recovery, instead of working on the image like we've been doing, in other words, hitting Control L, go into the white picker, picking onto the dark area, hitting the erase tool, making sure the erase to history is switched off, going around the image and kind of lo losing any of the background that you need to go, okay? If you want a little bit more control, all we've got to do is what? Duplicate the layer. So Control J will duplicate that layer. Now we work in the, in the same way. So in other words, Control L for the levels, pick up the white picker, pick onto the actual, the white part here, pressing OK. In this case now, we can't basically erase through. So if I click on the erase to, hist uh, to history, uh, basically, the the background, oh sorry, unchecker, all this is going to do is erase through to the background that is below, of course, yes? So you've got to be aware of what you're kind of wor working with. But if you've got a very fine detail of um, sub uh, subjects that you really need to actually be able to recover a lot of white information or perhaps the light is too bright from the flash and it's reflected off the skin and you need to delete more of it, then basically you want to actually recover more. So <clears throat> in this case, what we would have done is because we've duplicated um, the layer, we've got all the white. Now we want to erase to history on this layer, let's say, to bring back the, de uh, the detail that we've lost. We flatten the layer then, okay? Now we hit the erased and basically go through. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you can miss one step there, and that one step was unchecking the arrays to history box. Let's just close that down again so we can see it. So remember what we're doing, Control J, that duplicates the layer, Control L to bring up the dialog box, click onto the dark part of the image that you want to get rid of. At this case, all we're really using the arrays tool for is to bring back detail, yes? And we're erasing through. Now at this point, we flatten. So that would be layer and flatten image. It's my shortcut F2. Then in the erase tool, we get rid of the bits that we want to actually lose. And I think that is a really quick fix into the likes of it. So just to prove the point, you know, control L here. What are we going to do? If we click on the white, his white jacket might lose some information through here. So we might want to actually be bringing that back. All right, so it might be a bit too much. So if we press OK, we've done our job. We've come, the erase to history is switched off. Then we can come through. Now, there's no reason why we couldn't make a selection and hit the delete button. But at this point here, we've lost his jacket information. So all I've got to do is click on the erase to, his, uh, to history, shrink my brush down a little bit, and basically start to bring the jacket back. Now you can see there's a slight discoloration going on in here because obviously this is white with detail now. Might also want to bring it back on his shoes. Okay, and then all we've got to do is uh, Control L and then just whiten a little bit. That's all we're going to do is just actually push that white up a touch and pretty much you'll fix the image by default.